Greetings and welcome back to tutorial series where I teach you new tricks or things you didn't know in the Zeman lab. So in this lesson I plan to uh, show how to work with the textures and other material settings and what those tags mean at the end of these textures. So let's start. First off, I will show how you can add a new texture. Let's say you want to, I don't know, let's say you want this badge to be other texture. So you press this one and now you can find which texture it is. You can, I usually try to find the right texture by just disabling it and now it's you can see it's this texture. So I found it and I can change it. To change it you can uh, press on the texture and here is a, a texture browser here's all textures which is used by this model or all textures which is just added by yourself manually so here you can add a new texture let's say well I have here two examples so let's pick this one and here you press open and now this texture appears here and press ok and now this texture is here that's pretty simple, right? Well, it's not always like that. Well, let's move to the next uh, step, which I have planned in this lesson, is uh, assign new texture to. So let's say you don't want to, you want only new texture on this BMW BMW badge and not on this. So let's revert back uh, to our texture where it is. Which one? Which one? Which one? This one a bit. Yeah, this texture. So let's say you just want to change this badge, but it's this texture used by many objects. Uh, to do that, you can. I will show later on how you can select this and just uh, watch what I'm doing, and you maybe you will learn already. So let's go to polygon level. Uh, polygon level, uh, go to select and I usually uh, just for safety press none always because in the time when you make this mode you can have some leftovers from other selections and then uh, some texture will be on the <coughs> wrong place so press none and just press right mouse button and now to select this badge press here separate it separated means it selects uh, by by object by objects like well like by piece which is connected together as as one piece. So we click here separate because if we press here single, it just press single. If we quarter, it will select it, but it will also select around and. We we don't need it, so we just press, press select separated. Sometimes models are so called broken and they can't be selected separated, so you have to click one by one. So now you have selected only this one. To add texture only to this one to change and not here, you can press here. Let's just duplicate the default material, set it to white color so it shows up as you expect, and let's add the same row texture and press OK and here is a signature selection and when you press it it appears this new texture and the old one is the same so now also always when you do this press this none and just close it down so nothing and here go back to object mode I usually select that none so as I said so it doesn't mess up with other things you might have selected in previously so now you know how to assign new texture to it. Next uh, step in my tutorial will be I will explain these tags what they do and what does they mean. So let's start with the first one and most important one. Here is as you can see remap body. Uh, remap body means it can be paint job. If you if you have seen some mods or original cards which use uh, which use paint jobs in the tuning shops uh, to make it work you have to have 
that's like a rule you have to have a texture called remap body with the under line so and it, it means that uh, this material will try to find and apply paint jobs when you are in that uh, tuning shop like Transfender or Villa Angels. So first tag is prime. Uh, prime means uh, primary color uh, which will show up in the game like you can sell, uh, select which part of the card is primary color and then you can just uh, format this let's say you have usually when you import or when you make mods you have just this texture so to and now if you would export it to the game it will be white or it will be just the color we set not this one but yeah now well if you would press this green and now if you would export to the game it will be like this green and you couldn't change uh, main body color in the game no matter what uh, to make it work you need to add this tag uh, prime uh, rhyme so now even if you have it green here in the zimler if you would put it in the game you can change your own color even if you put white color it uh, will be white and no signs of green because you have this prime tag and Zimler when you export it automatically uh, makes so game knows it's a primary color so next uh, tag you, which is also important is to make as you can see I had this uh, kind of reflection texture where this cloud thingy going around uh, to make it work you need to first off here's your texture rim of body and you need to add it as secondary color here secondary texture so you can ch click at any which you want I'll usually take first and second so here you can reflection and here this texture you can add a uh, new you can even make those reflects road so let's for the interesting for the fun take this road oh we already had so here it is and press ok so now as you can see the road should shine up yeah here this road thingy over so uh, and now if you would export it to the game you will see this 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 uh, road texture as uh, reflection texture let's change it back uh, to real right one I use this so it's it's more it's more shinier in the game. It doesn't matter if you use you and so and to make it uh, like a reflection use here is uh, edit apply as edit and here set to low level additive. If you press mixes previous, it's just like a. Uh, it's uh, well it's like a, a stronger but it's not the right way to make it so let's move back to previous or oh here's the mixes previous and here's the UV channel one and now it's just like a texture like paint job so to make it this this is how it look like when you uh, import add this texture for the first time and you won't have any a reflection added before so to make it work out because if right now if you export it will show up in game like this with the dark artist and, 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 and brighter artist like this so to make it reflection just here so low level additive and auto sphere environment and press ok and now it's a back like a reflection so and here in the tags you can add this in tag uh, which means uh, how strong is this texture seeable in the game let's say you add here uh, 100 and now you won't be able to see primary color but you will see only this reflection texture like with the 100 in game it will look like this like before in game as you can see you can change any 
color well it's short, sort of change but it doesn't doesn't show up as it needs to be so you need to set let's change back to low level and here you can just experiment for the primary color I use I usually use seven or eight it's optimal color optimal level without n if you use n you can you can just uh, not use it or sometimes if you don't use it this texture uh, n don't know which texture is the on which texture it should make live reflection which texture is made to where uh, it don't need to shine like an interior for example if you add into the interior or the shine it will shine with the in the, with the end as well so and the next tag which I want to show is this front left front right right now I bet it doesn't make any sense for you and let me explain that's why so this tag means uh, satellites I call them so here is the front lift which means it's a front this headlight as you can see it's orange don't mind these colors you can make them white if you want so now it's white uh, in the game it will work fine as I said when you export Zimler makes it work for the game here's just tags so on export uh, Zimler knows what they are and what you want them to do so front lift now if you make this one you can change them to front right keep them in caps lock so uh, now if you would crash this side with the car it would also turn off this light that's why you need to uh, set each corner on light so it's more realistic when you crash this side it only turns off this light and when you crash this it only turns off so you can just make them white for so in Zimler you actually see how it looks like these color, colors used mostly internally for Zimler so let me see what I wanted to show as next step so oh I showed in reflection now I will show a specular highlight so the model is not dark in game let me make the model black so uh, you can better see what I mean so let's put it white so in the game usually it looks something like this where is this specular highlight when you go around and <coughs> over so uh, if you here is this extensions go to extensions and here is this specular highlight when I disable it's it's all dark and then let's add this color now it's reflection shows but it's not uh, it doesn't have a specular highlight and in game it will look like a, a original uh, Uranus if you know that car or <coughs> other cars which doesn't uh, have this or Sadler I guess doesn't have specular highlight by default that's Andreas bug so you have to as you just saw when I turn it on it uh, turns on and, and, and now in game it will be uh, bright so oh and here you can adjust uh, the specular highlight level as uh, the lower you go the smaller the point B and and then it will doesn't look so good so you can of course you can play with this slider and check out how does you you like for me I usually for the main body I use between uh, 76 and 78 18 80 is just too much and and it doesn't show this specular highlight it just like this it's just too white and in game it's a uh, it doesn't even reflect like a doesn't have that sun effect like so let me check what more oh and last step last step I wanted to show uh, how to make satellites not but license plate let's say you have some mode which have uh, some country 
uh, plate or, or or just some 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 custom or none at all. So for me, I already have, but I will show. Let's let me uh, set some other texture traits. So you form right here is the shadow. Let me delete the shadow again. I use this non automatically and press separate and click here and now it's uh, all enabled, uh, selected now to delete all at once just press this selected mode and auto now when, now when you press delete button it deletes it all and here is the number plate so let's select none and go back to object mode so you have to let me get. Let's say you have uh, this texture, uh, texture with. Let's use the same road, same selection. So usually you would have something like like this, where it's just uh, uh, some custom made or or. or or some country plate. So to make it work, you need to assign right texture to it. So you go to select separated and select both polygons. Now go to uh, the material editor, and now you need to find the car plate back. Here's the car p back texture. You need to have uh, this texture called like this, you can e uh, rename any text you want, you can even uh, rename this to carp black and, and uh, add it to zimler, here it will show this one, but in game it will show the right one. I have this carp black here, and now sync selection, and now it will show that uh, San Andreas and up and down this uh, well, the three uh, backgrounds which have Sunrise license plate, but it won't display uh, the numbers right now. To display numbers, you need to. I'll usually use box. Let's box, and just make some kind of box anywhere you want. And now it's like here. Now move it while it's as box. You will need only this front side, but now while well, it's size box, also you can move it this one up above this, so you can uh, lead like here, and you can pick it up and it have primary selection. So as you can see, it has default material and it's already used this raw texture. And to make those letters go to make it center. Here the position, just apply here to on x, up, press to zero, and it now it's straightened up in the center. So now move it on something like this. So with just make sure you have this uh, front uh, front uh, side uh, front side uh, facing out. Let's take like this and move somewhere like this so now you can just delete go to uh, vertex mode find that object and you can auto and select and now you can just drag and delete and now you have left only this uh, front side where now you can just select automatically press none maybe something is selected it's just for your own safety now you click the uh, right mouse button, select single as object mode and find your C car plate and this texture mean, uh, responds to where will be tag numbers so and now here is this, this texture and behind is that background texture and on this front texture will be those numbers uh, to make to attach it back to the trunk, I will show in details what I'm doing right now later on in this uh, lessons. Now I just 
quickly show up. Maybe someone just searched for, for what I'm doing right now. So you just drag and drop it in the boot dummy. Now modify attach and try to find that object. Sometimes it doesn't show where it is, so in this case you can just disable the boot and it uh, shows this plate only. So rotate so you can reach it and make modify attach. Take it and attach to the boot so it's open closed together with the boot. And this is it. Now you have uh, your own license plate in the game and it will work and it will show your no, uh, it will show in-game numbers or in San Andreas multiplayer you can let's say you have your own plate and now it will display your own plate alright uh, this lesson was kind of long I guess if you have more questions leave a comment of course you can press like and subscribe for more tutorials I'll see you in the next one bye